guys, my name is Mark Fontaine and welcome to a very special episode of the Service Design Show. This episode is fully dedicated to the upcoming Service Design Network Global Conference that will take place on November 2nd and 3rd, 2017 in the wonderful city of Madrid. I've invited a dear friend of the show and former guest, who's also part of the conference organizing team, Alex Nisbet, to tell us what we can expect at this year's conference. Do you want to go to the conference for free this year? Keep watching, Alex will be giving away one ticket during this episode. Welcome to the show, Alex. Hi, Mark. Uh, nice to have you back on the show. <laughs> it's brilliant to be here. Alex, you're part of the organizing team, and that's why uh, I've invited you to talk a bit about the conference that's coming up in uh, Madrid. First of all, could you uh, explain a bit what's the theme and why did you choose this specific theme this year? Yeah, so um, this is going to be our 10th global conference, so that's a really significant thing. Um, and uh, some of the early themes were about joining the dots. There was a bit of focus on kind of tools and methods, you know, the basics, if you like. Uh, then we um, then we started thinking about that shift from, as we called it, from uh, uh, from sketchbook to spreadsheet. Uh, and then we looked at the the value to uh, uh, quality of life, and we feel that now it's about time, after ten years, to start thinking about the real growth of service design and the importance of uh, and the challenges of uh, service design at scale. Mm. So. Uh, so we've seen service design grow from arguably quite a small kind of practice, if you like, uh, as, as you might say, a cottage industry mm -hmm. uh, into something which is uh, is much more akin to a global uh, phenomena. So the, maybe the, the the real question is how do we, we are making impact, but how do we spread the impact and how do we do more meaningful work? Yeah, yeah. So there's a whole... There's a whole bunch of challenges about getting bigger and better, having more spread, more impact, growing, growing pains, uh, if you like. Uh, so that's what we're uh, what's, that's what we're focusing on this year. So, what can people expect when they join the conference in Madrid? Um, okay, I think there's uh, there's a couple of really significant things. There's one thing that I'm going to come back to again and again and again. Uh, and that's this word in our in the service design network, the network word. Uh, this is really, really important to us. And it's the reason that you'll find that our global conference changes venue, changes host country and city from year to year. Uh, so the network uh, is the most important thing. Being able to kind of connect with uh, physically face to face people uh, to, the, that are um, Designing services, they're maybe uh, delivering services, they're buying services, or they're studying service design. So, so the first thing is is definitely about reaching out to that community, uh, getting in touch with your network, uh, and enjoying spending time together. So the the network is uh, the the most important thing, uh, really. Uh, I would say um, the second thing has got to be the the breadth of content. So no matter who you are. Uh, whether you're uh, an academic, whether you're studying, uh, whether you're new to service design, or whether you're maybe a, a seasoned professional, or maybe that somebody that's uh, in, in working in in house in an organisation, there's going to be something for you uh, at this conference. Yeah. Uh, and the third thing, probably, is which connects to the network, uh, is the fact that we're going to be in Madrid, in Spain. Um, and there's going to be, um, we're looking forward to the kind of the local, the Spanish uh, kind of flavor, if you like. That's very important to us that uh, each host city is able to sort of present uh, an aspect of their country, of their city, uh, which makes it a more, even more of an experience. So it's not just a conference, it's actually more of an experience. Mm -hmm. I, I have a, a strong memory of that uh, from the conference we hosted in, uh, in Amsterdam uh, last year. So uh, the, the, the the theme was the Dutch flavor, so I'm really curious and looking forward to the Spanish flavor in this case. Alex, I know that uh, you're still in the full prog process of developing the program and curating uh, the presentations, but could you give us uh, sort of a tip of the, the, uh, the iceberg? What uh, can people expect to learn during this conference? Well, um, we, we, we're quite careful uh, about uh, setting a, a, a theme, if you like, uh, uh, and also 
breaking that theme down into a number of uh, distinct topics. And we're very much encouraging uh, those that are either speaking or facilitating workshops in some way uh, to connect to that uh, central theme, service design at scale. Um, so we're going to be ensuring that everything kind of speaks to that. Um, we are also going to be uh, looking at uh, introducing um, uh, possibly some uh, different um, different uh, uh, levels uh, of content. So okay. content which is maybe more suitable than somebody that's maybe new uh, to service design. Uh, content uh, on the other perspective from for, for people that are maybe those seasoned professionals. So I think what what you might be looking at is a kind of uh, a breadth of content around uh, the uh, the theme, but also a depth, as I say, from people that are sort of for people that are fairly new to it, uh, and also for, for those that are, uh, as I say, seasoned seasoned professionals, uh, if, if you like. The people who were back there in two thousand eight uh, during the first. And, and I have to say, I have to add that. Uh, uh, the content, uh, um, the, the the theme is uh, is is designed, is co-designed with the uh, the local uh, the local team, the local host team. Uh, the content all comes from uh, the network. There will be a, a few number of people that uh, that are invited speakers, if you like, uh, but the vast majority of the content is coming from the network uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think we're, that's something that we're really really proud of. Um, we think it's really important that, uh, uh, that, that the content comes from you, if you like, everybody out there, uh, the network. So, so what, what is the thing uh, next to the Spanish flavor that you are looking forward to? Um, there's a couple of things. I'm personally looking forward to uh, spending some time with some... Uh, some dear friends, friends that I've met throughout, you know, over the years, you know, whether it was from uh, Amsterdam back in uh, 2008 or some of the conferences in between. So I'm looking forward to spending some time with those cool people and hanging out, if you like, and just seeing what's what in their service design world. Um, I'm looking very much looking forward to the, uh, you know, the fact that this is our 10th conference. So I think uh, if you if you go along to Members Day, uh, um, then you'll find there's going to be a little bit of a flavor around, uh, you know, look, looking back and looking forward. I think that's going to be very, very special. Um, but I think most of all, it's going to be the uh, the, the breadth of the content, mm -hmm. the kind of uh, surprising talks, if you like, that uh, from from people that maybe you, you've not heard of yet, or maybe people speaking from uh, that, that have flown a long way uh, to the conference uh, with some particularly interesting stories from their from their context and their experience of service design. So Alex, if people are just excited as me to join you in Madrid, how do we sign up? Mm. Okay, so if you want to come along to the Service Design Network Global Conference, uh, each year there's, there's the first way to get involved is by submitting a proposal for a talk or maybe a workshop. Unfortunately, uh, d the date for those submissions has passed now and we're already kind of filtering through all those hundreds of submissions, right? So that's the first way. Number, the second way, uh, purchase a ticket. Uh, so you uh, check out the link in the comments or somewhere yep. below here. here. Um, so there are some really good rates uh, uh, for if you're a professional, if you're a member of a company or if you're a student, uh, you get discounts. So there we go. Buy a ticket uh, for the two days. Um, but I think uh, we've got a we've got a third way uh, we this year. Yeah. Um, Mark, I think uh, we, we're organizing a little competition, aren't we? It's, I must say that this is a, a first a service design show first. We haven't done this uh, uh, yet. So I'm really curious how this will work out. And I think you offered uh, one free ticket, not the flight, not the hotel, just a free ticket to the conference when people join this challenge and what's the challenge Alex? Yeah so we'd like you to answer one simple question and it's connected with the theme of the conference of course so if you can answer this following question uh, what do you think uh, is the most important ingredient for successfully uh, de designing services at scale? So what's that the most important ingredient for service design at scale and if you put your answers in the comments below uh, then I think we'll 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 pick a pick an answer out of the hat um, um, that, and uh, that lucky person will get to come along to the conference yeah it's it's not that hard for you to actually obtain that ticket so leave a comment share your thoughts share your ideas and also learn from what other people are saying 
and we'll, we'll pick a winner uh, pretty soon. And we'll announce that maybe also in the next episode, because I think, Alex, we should uh, do a follow-up on this episode once you know more about the final program and the final presentations, yeah. right? That that would be really great to be able to share some of the uh, you know some of the, uh, the 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 speakers, the talks, uh, the workshops. Um, of course, you'll be able to find those out. We'll be releasing those on on Twitter um, and on the website. But uh, it'll be good to talk about some of the kind of the really interesting things that uh, are going to be happening at the conference. Awesome, uh, Alex. Thanks for your time. Looking forward to uh, the conference and uh, thanks again. Cheers, thanks a lot, bye. If you'd like to learn more about the conference, check out the links that are in the description of this episode. If you enjoyed this episode and like to see more interviews with service design pioneers, check out some of the past episodes and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.